Welcome to the Willow Grove Tour, a park with a rich history and a very personal connection to me. Willow Grove was once originally built by my great aunt Agatha Willow, who poured her heart and soul into creating a thriving magical place that brought joy to generations of visitors. However, as time passed, the park fell into hard times, and Agatha had no choice but to sell all the rides, leaving behind only memories of what it once was. But Agatha never gave up hope. She saw potential in a park and in me, and decided to pass it down to her family. She entrusted me with the responsibility of bringing Willow Grove back to life, to restore it and make it a great theme park once again. My goal was to have everything ready in time for her 100th birthday which we just celebrate the fitting milestone for reopening of the park that meant so much to her. Welcome back to part two of the Willow Grove tour. Today we're exploring the Gentle Ride area, a smaller but very enjoyable section of the park that's perfect for the whole family. In this area, we've got six fun flat rides, one track ride, one roller coaster, plus a cozy restaurant for when you're ready to relax and grab a bite to eat. Some of the big highlights here include Dragon Flight, our thrilling roller coaster that weaves through the landscape, and Agatha's Historic Cruise, a charming classic car track ride that takes you through the mountains and into the blustering city before returning to the station. And a big congratulations to Marvy G for winning the contest. If you still like to explore the other amazing parks from the competition, all the links are down in the description below. Let's dive into this family-friendly section of Willow Grove. We're starting this part of the tour by crossing the beautifully restored covered bridge over Willows Creek, right next to Willows Drop. This bridge is a piece of park history and offers a great view of the creek below. On the other side, we'll come across another one of our handy park maps. These maps are scattered throughout Willow Grove, so if you ever feel a little lost, there's always one nearby to help you pinpoint your location. From here, we head straight to Agatha's Hearth. Nestled at the back of the park, this cozy restaurant offers an indoor seating and a top deck where you can enjoy your meal while overlooking the trees and watching the park go stroll by below. The restaurant serves some of Agatha's most cherished recipes, keeping her legacy alive and well in Willow Grove. To the side, we have Dragon Flight. Before we hop on that, we're going to make a loop around to our first flat ride, Spellbound. This magical ride has witches and pig-like creatures pulling sleds that take you soaring into the air. As the witches sprinkle mist on the creatures, they fly, creating a whimsical experience. As you make your way through the queue, you'll encounter all sorts of magical elements. There's a wishing tree out front, a couple of sleepy pig-like creatures tucked away in the queue, and of course, the witch waiting at the entrance gate. Keep an eye out for the magic all around you. Next to the left, we come to our second flat ride, Skyriders. This non-inverting flat ride is perfect for all ages and will send you spinning around in midair. As you glide through the air, you'll get some fantastic views of Willow Creek and the bridge we crossed earlier. The ride sits right on the edge of the creek, making it a scenic and fun experience for everyone. Next, we'll come to Enchanted Octo. A gentle yet exciting ride with a whimsical spinning octopus at the center. The ride features five arms, each with four cars that spin, weave, and bounce guests around, while bubbles blow up from the octopus, adding to the fun. It's the perfect ride for all ages, offering excitement while keeping things gentle. Located right next to Skyriders and on the edge of Willows Creek, the ride combines playful thrills and scenic views. Just before we reach the bend that leads back to the second entrance of the gentle area, we come to Galathic Gate. This ride is unique compared to the other flat rides here in Willows Grove. 
when you step through the gate, you're greeted with a friendly astronaut. If you have a skip the line pass, you can take the separate queue. But if not, you'll be scanned by an alien as you continue through. There's even a shoot off between astronaut and an alien to keep things exciting. If you're a sci-fi fan, keep an eye out for hidden references from a popular TV and movie franchise throughout the queue. As you exit the ride, another astronaut waves to you, congratulating you on completing your mission. As we continue along the edge of Willow's Creek, we come to the next ride, Willow's Twirl. This ride is similar to the classic Ferris wheel. Though not quite as large as the Sky Wheel, it's located right at the base of Willow's Mountain, giving riders some beautiful views. From here, you can spot two bridges leading back to the Midway area and the amphitheater. This ride offers not only fantastic views of the creek and surrounding nature, but you'll also be able to catch a glimpse of the waterfall flowing from Pirate Lake. It's a peaceful, scenic experience that's perfect for taking in the beauty of Willow Grove. Continuing along, we come to the two bridges that take us back to the Midway section. The first bridge crosses over Willow's Creek, and right after a tight turn, the second bridge takes us across the waterfall that flows from the stream fed by Pirate Lake. This area really makes you feel like you're back in nature, surrounded by the base of Willow Mountain. From the first bridge, there are spots where you can pause and look over into the creek and enjoy the view of the waterfall. You can see all the way down the creek to the food court. And on the other side, you'll catch a glimpse of Willow's Riches roller coaster as it comes down the mountain and splashes into the creek. From here, you can also spot parts of the city that you'll drive through on Agatha's historic cruise. It's a peaceful area with stunning views. Before we head into Agatha's historic cruise, we have the bathrooms for this area just off to the right. While they may not be as big and grand as some of the others in the park, they are in a convenient location. You'll also find fresh cold water from the water fountains for a refreshing drink or to refill your water bottle. Now let's hop on Agatha's historic cruise. A charming track ride where you get to take a drive through the mountains and through the city in a vintage car. The ride starts at a station with a small pond, giving you a view of the city backdrop before we head out. We begin by driving through the tunnel and winding up the mountain surrounded by trees. After another tunnel, we start descending back down the mountain and enter the quaint little city. In the city, you'll find restored vintage cars, along with some that were donated to us from popular TV shows and movies. There's even a firehouse complete with a fire truck. As we cruise through, you'll pass by a few charming stores and then reach a bus stop with a lady waiting and a cat standing next to her. Finally, we head down a gentle hill alongside Willows Creek before making our way back to the station.
After leaving Agatha's historic cruise, we come to our last flat ride, Flying Carpet. This ride spins in circles while moving back and forth on a half pike track, giving a mini coaster feel. Although it's categorized as a gentle ride, it's still quite exciting for many visitors. The ride seats 36 people arranged in six rows of six, all facing the center. The car itself is shaped like a flying carpet with a gentle lamp and chest of gold in the center, creating a magical focal point for guests as they ride. The queue is covered, keeping you shade from the sun and you can enjoy the view of the blue flowers planted along the path as you wait. From here we make our way back towards the Dragonflight roller coaster. As we pass by you'll notice the staff and first aid buildings on the right. These are fully equipped to handle any first aid situations, with helpful staff ready to assist. You might even spot the first aid golf cart part right next to the building, always prepared for a quick response. And now we've come full circle back to Dragon's Flight. Created by BMW Coaster Creations, this exciting coaster takes riders on the back of a dragon soaring through the trees and mountains at speeds up to 55 miles per hour. As it may be designed as a family friendly ride, it's far more than just a kiddie adventure. This is an epic flight that everyone can enjoy. With flowers at the front of the stations, and a giant dragon, we head up the stairs and cross over the track before it enters the station. The rest of the queue is raised, weaving through the wooded mountainside. Inside, the station is smaller than some of the others in the park, but it's equipped with shelves where you can safely store your belongings before boarding. No matter your age, Dragonflight offers a thrilling experience that's fun for everyone. Let's go ahead and take a ride. And now that we've just finished the POV for Dragon Flight, it's time to wrap up this part of the tour. We've explored some amazing attractions from the gentle area, from magical flat rides and scenic track rides, and of course, the thrilling Dragon Flight coaster. Don't forget to check out MarVG's winning entry and the other fantastic parks from the contest. All the links are in the description below if you want to explore them further. Stay tuned for part 3 where we'll dive into the exciting Pirate Mountain section. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all had a great time exploring with me. And as always, hope you enjoyed the ride. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep the park alive. We'll see you next time.